I think filming out in public is always a bit, you're always a bit worried because you know, there's lots of people and you can't control the environment, especially in Soho, there's lots of people that have a problem with being filmed or don't want you in there kind of looking at them. So that's always just a bit of a concern. You don't want to be getting in people's way. You don't want to be upsetting people. So today we're in Soho on Brewer Street shooting the final scenes of the film. You can feel the crew has kind of found its way around each other. The cast have worked out who their friends are and have relaxed into their roles. Roxanne is a transgender sex worker who lives in Soho. The most appealing thing was it was a transgender story, but it wasn't your typical view of transgender life. And you were starting from a point where somebody is already transgender or already identifies as transgender and is not going through the process of trying to understand who they are. The story's about her really kind of un understanding her own isolation. She's very protected and guarded. This is, yeah, Lily's the catalyst of this expansion. She's a girl that has been abandoned by her mother and she's been kicked out by her mum's boyfriend. The relationship develops when um, Roxy rescues her from some pimps trying to take her away. I don't know what they're going to do, so I'm trying to fight back and then Roxanne tries to help me. What are you? Her mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! From her, her history, there's been some things with her mother. Who's that? Don't be nosy. It's my sister and me. When you were little? Yeah. So I think she relates heavily to Lily. Where is she? I don't know. By day, she lives quite a, a disparate life from everyone else. Whereas her nightlife, she's the life and soul and she's almost putting on a mask, which is really represented by all of the costumes and the makeup and the wigs. The makeup's very integral into her creating her persona for Roxanne. So we have a scene where we see her taking it off and it's her letting her wall down, letting her guard down and being more vulnerable with Lily. It was a bit of a challenge in that Cairo is extremely good at doing her own makeup. Uh, so to try and convince her that it's the character makeup. It all looks really, really beautiful and we're shooting on 35mm as well, which just makes everything look incredible. I think it will raise the whole production value of the film tremendously. To me, I always think film gives a more human dimension.